only on 10 News. And all of a sudden, I see these two big dogs staring right at me. And uh, it freaked me out. A Chula Vista man watches in horror as two loose pit bulls run into his home and after his cat. His beloved cat would not survive, but tonight a remarkable turn of events. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, the cat's owners are now going public in hopes of helping the dogs. Very sweet, gentle cat. 14 year old Pansy. She was my baby. Was in her backyard off Meyer Avenue two Wednesdays ago. Nearby, this gate opened as Armando Nunez moved items to build a shed. Putting this thing together, I looked down. And all of a sudden, I see these two big dogs staring right at me. Two pit bulls lightning quick. They snipped this birdcage. My cat was sleeping right there in the shade. Before waking and running after Pansy while Nunez. Grabbed this two by four and then I chased them. Tried to scare them off. The dogs chased Pansy through the garage and then into the house. And a few minutes later, the dogs took off under the garage. Moments later. I was shocked. And then I started yelling. A grim discovery and a call to his wife, Diane. I was driving, crying. Family members went looking and found the pit bulls in a nearby construction site. When Diane saw them, her anger and fear. Happy looking with her tongues all out. Turned into something else. I cried again and I, and I'm, and I, I felt so bad. Tears, this time for the dogs. It's a fault and the responsibility of the owners of those dogs. The couple says they were told by animal control if the owners don't claim the dogs in two weeks, they'll be euthanized. I don't want these dogs to die. A possibility that spurred the couple to share Pansy's story in hopes the dog's owner will come forward. The owners need to take responsibility of those dogs. If they can't keep them, let them go up for adoption for somebody that will take care of those dogs. Michael Chen, 10 News. The two pit bulls are believed to be about two years, nine months old, possibly a mother and then her pup. Chula Vista officials just confirmed they have identified and tried to contact the owner who has until tomorrow to come forward.